Howdy champs, my name is Mohit. Uh, guys, today I'm going to show you how to use bullets in uh, your HTML CSS document. Let's start. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to convert the doc type. I'm going to change it to the latest HTML5 doc type, right? After which, guys, let me select the opening and the closing body tags. Press the Alt key and then uh, click on this icon that will make sure that everything outside the body tags will collapse right that'll make it very easy for me to work and for you to see as well cool as i said uh, this tutorial is all about uh, creating a, a bulleted list right so guys uh, what i'm gonna do is see out here uh, we have an icon which if, which if i hover over uh, clearly gives out a tooltip that says uh, that it will create an unordered list. If I click on that guys, you'll see that a bullet is inserted out here. You have a look at the code. We have the opening UL tag, the closing UL tags and sandwiched in between we have the LI tags. Cool. Let me start creating my unordered list. I'm going to say item 1, item 2, item 3, item 4 cool uh, guys let me select everything between the opening and the closing ul tags in fact i would want this to be inside a div so what i'll do is after highlighting lines 9 through 14 i'm going to click on insert i'm going to go down to layer objects div tag all right uh, by default the option wraparound selection will be selected which is fine I'm gonna to go to the ID I'm gonna say div1 you could have chosen a different name that's absolutely alright let me click on the new CSS rule uh, the selector type is ID which is fine we have a pound sign just before the div1 which is great uh, the rule definition is getting saved in this document only which is also fine let me say okay basically I'm creating an internal or an embedded uh, style sheet and then uh, I'll straight away go to the list category list and uh, I'm gonna go to the list style image click on the browse button and this bullets folder is my local side folder inside which I have an images folder I'm gonna double click and let me pick up a bullet let's say this one all right and uh, rather what I'll do is I'll go to the box category and uh, define a width of let's say a 400 and a height of let's say a 300 and a background color of let's say a linen uh, let's say a border of uh, dashed thin let's say a maroon color okay and say okay once again and guys uh, if I go to the live view you can uh, see that uh, that the list items uh, the unordered list is now encapsulated by a div right cool okay next guys what I'm going to do is uh, let me highlight line number 18 let me click on the plus button right uh, guys you can see that I'm it's a compound rule and I'm targeting UL within dev1 which is great let me say okay and then I'll go to the list category I'm gonna select this image as the list style image okay and let me say okay straight away and guys as you can actually see that um, the bullets have replaced the default shape or the default uh, black circle small circle all right uh, this is how you actually uh, will replace uh, you know you actually will place a graphic instead of the default image let me save the file up let me call it bullets right now guys what happens out here uh, 
I I get asked a question many times, and the question is, what if I would want to uh, have item number one not aligned to the base of the image? As you can clearly see out here, uh, that it's aligned to the base of the image. Uh, there may be times when you don't want that. What if you actually want item number one to be uh, aligned to the center of the bullet? Okay. Uh, there's another question that I get asked quite a lot, which is what if I want to increase the space between item 1, item 2 and the bullets themselves, okay? This is the default space, which is around uh, 2 to 5 pixels, something like that, maybe 5 pixels, all right? That's the default. What if I would want to increase it to, let's say, a 10 or a 15? And yet another question that I get asked quite a lot is what if I want to, see, if the bullet is big, uh, we may want to increase the spacing between the lines, all right? So uh, we'll look at all these three uh, options and how we can actually manage them, okay? And uh, yes, there's one more option that I would like to tell you. Let me go to this compound rule, which is div1 ul, double click on it, and let me go to the list uh, category. We have an option out here which says inside, and there's another option which says outside. All right, let's, let's look at the difference. So this is... Uh, That's list style position outside, right? Let me change it to inside. All right, and guys, as you can see that there's a, a little indentation and uh, you know, it got pushed in. So that's another option that you should look at. Uh, let me go back to the same rule. Let me go to the box category and rather to the type category. We have an option called line height. And let's say I would want it to be a 150%. Let's see what happens. You can see that the bullets are quite cramped. Okay. Uh, not any longer. I can actually change this to, let's say, 250%. And as you can see, they're not cramped anymore. Right. Okay. So I have shown you how the inside and the outside affect how you can actually increase the line spacing. Now let's tackle... Uh, increasing the space between the bullet and the items right let's uh, let's create a new rule rather what I'm gonna do is let me come out the live view um, yep let me create a, a new uh, rule let uh, let me set it to a class right let me create a create a class rule and let me call it let's say style one mm -hmm. uh, rule definitions getting saved in this document only let me say okay and then i'm gonna go to the box category i'm gonna go to the margin i'm gonna define a left margin of let's say 15 px let's say okay right now what i'll do is in the code area let me select item number one and then go to the css category let me create an inline rule so new inline rule click on the edit rule rather uh, let me cancel it let me place a span span tag out here so that's a span and then class is equal to style one all right and let me close the span tag up like this okay so the opening span tag before item number one the closing span tag after item number one before and after item number one uh, let me go to the live view and guys as you can actually see that the space between the bullet and item number one has actually increased uh, to the one that's defined via style number one if i increase it to let's say a 25 let's make it 25 you can see that uh, the space is actually increased right so this way guys i can actually target item number two and item number three as well 
okay uh, or any other item I just need to create a span tag before and after and then use a class and uh, uh, the class should point to a rule which then can you know through which you can actually push uh, using the margin right now the uh, the last question the last query that most people have is I would want item number one to uh, not align itself to the base of the the bullet but I would want it to be slightly uh, you know uh, maybe in the middle of the, the bullet you know centrally aligned not base aligned how do I actually do that that's not difficult either uh, I'll show you how let me go back to style one um, go to the block category we have an option which is vertical align let me make it sub let me say okay all right the moment I make it sub guys you can actually notice that the bullet actually rises a little above the item number one okay so item number one has actually become a subscript you know it's, it's actually gone down towards the bottom and let's see how can how I can actually manage that let me go to the rule which is style number one you can see the vertical align has been set to a sub right I'm gonna change the sub to let's say uh, minus uh, let's say uh, 3px rather just 3px not minus 3px let me change it to 3px all right and uh, guys you can actually see that item number one has actually risen uh, itself beyond the base in fact it will be much more clear if I remove the space between item and one so what I'll do is uh, this margin left let me just make it two for just for the time being all right and uh, now let me go to the live view now you can clearly see that item number one has risen itself beyond the base of uh, the bullet right uh, let me change the vertical align to let's say a five this time right and guys as, as you can see now item number one is more or less uh, in fact if I make it four I think it'll be perfectly in the center looks like right yes it is so guys as you can actually see that uh, item number one is perfectly in the center of the bullet centrally aligned okay uh, vertically centrally aligned yep through the I've used these uh, you know the sub method as the subscript method and then I've given it up a value of 4px and uh, as you can see that I've used the left margin and through the left margin I can decide uh, how much of us you know if I really want to increase the space between the bullet and the item also guys we have seen how the inside and the outside can affect the position of the bullet all right we've also seen how line height is useful to increase the space between the bullets just in case you know the bullet is big what happens is that the bullet uh, tend to cramp themselves so we, we can increase the line height to a uh, 200 percent or 250 percent or 125 percent or whatever all right so guys uh, this is quite a complete tutorial when it comes to uh, explain explanation of the bullets okay creating a bullet list or so I hope uh, I also hope to uh, see you very soon with yet another uh, HTML CSS tutorial you have a good day guys bye bye peace